you ever seen the movie Close Encounters of the Fourth Con in order to tap into uh, the ability to connect and communicate with extraterrestrials or whatever you want to call them, you had to use the octave vibration of instruments. That's the only way you would be able to uh, to connect with those beings uh, on, on the communication level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was all freak radio wave frequencies, instrumentals. They even showed that in the uh, in the movie, The Man Who Fell to Earth. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, he was able to uh, manipulate the language and connect with higher interdimensional entities based upon uh, music frequencies. Yep, yep. It, it all started out with um, different instruments, you know, but you, you rarely see, you know, um, the artists now using them, but I, I think it should get back to that. You know, a cool side note, you know, NASA, when they're trying to communicate with beings from different places, they send uh, Beethoven and Bach I heard mm -hmm. about that. That's true, Rod. That's true. Yeah. It's in all, it's, it's all, all their paperwork. Wow. So, you know, you notice the word mentals in there and instrumental for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's a mental way. Yeah. Tap into your higher abilities. Cause I think if you listen to classical music, I do it to my son. I let classical music play lightly in the background while he sleep because it helps mm. uh, way out both hemispheres of the brain. Right, right, right. Well, they already they did many many studies on that too, uh, mm. brother Rick. Music, okay. that music, and fetal development, uh, and plant, and um, all kind of stuff. They use those different musics, and it stimulates the uh, synaptic network. Mm. Right. So, if the synaptic network is just building and it's being stimulated, it's going to build itself thicker, faster, and stronger. Mm. Yeah, a lot of baby geniuses now are being born from listening to classical music during gestation. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all mentioned that. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Y'all know my lady's pregnant, so I'm gonna keep that in mind, Vito. Thanks for bringing that up. The classical yeah. music, because that's some. I, you know, you you read and study so much. I I forgot about that part, the classical music part. So I'm definitely gonna keep that in mind. We don't we don't get to listen. Uh, we about to hit the two hour mark. I'm gonna take three questions from the chat before we get out of here, y'all. I don't want to keep the uh, uh, the brothers too long tonight. It's already eleven. I appreciate it. It's eleven on one. It's the one one one. It's the one one one. You know, you know, I, you know. It just happened like that. It's the one one one. But we gonna. I'm gonna get to three questions and then we are gonna get out of here. Absolutely magnificent show. We got about forty three hundred people in the chat. Wow, forty three hundred people in the chat. Shout out to all of y'all. Let's get to three questions. Uh, let me see if I got any questions in the super chat before I. All right, so I'm gonna get to a super chat question. Shout out to the super chat. Appreciate the support. You know what? Because yeah, somebody, but family, uh, brothers. Before I get to the um, uh, super chat, tell the family because somebody asks about supporting y'all. Y'all cash app if they want to show y'all some love on the cash app or whatever before we get to the three questions, y'all. We can start out with RFG, then B Dale, then Rod Hayes. If you got a cash app or whatever, and the family want to show y'all love, let them know how they could do that, y'all. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. I, I have uh I have PayPal, uh, and I just recently created a cash app like about two weeks ago. Uh so if you want to cash app me, you can send uh whatever to Dollar sign, capital RFG, capital C, H O S E N, the number one. That is uh, dollar sign, capital RFG, capital C, H O S E N, one, the number one. And um, as well as uh, PayPal, Amo Apoxia at gmail.com. So that's A M O A P O K S I A at gmail.com uh, for PayPal donations. All right, uh, B down. Uh, it's dollar sign Brydell Rice, B R Y D E L L R I C E. Okay. And um, uh, Rod. Mine is dollar sign capital S I K capital A P E. All right, I'm not. I'm, I think King Simon's in the chat. If King Simon's in the chat, he'll write it down. Shout out to King Simon if you're in the chat. If you could put that in the chat. While we get to um, a couple of these questions, let's get to this first super chat. All right, uh, Armani says, "Rich and Panama Kings, do you think they watch you 
and schedule these bullshit election events like tonight on purpose to try to throw off the energy because they know what's up. Please ask. Mm. Mm. Uh, the, the entire electoral process is a nothing but an illusion. Um, <laughs> you only you only had two, two presidents out of 46 um, that tried to like make some a form of a significant change and they you know they were assassinated so 44 out of 46 presidents um you know basically did everything that their puppet masters ordered them to do and uh there's been there's been no president to change the the uh the economic status or um the the fact that we're looked at as fourth and fifth class citizens in this country. You know, there's been no presidential candidate to change that dynamic. And I, I don't believe that there ever will be. Mm -hmm. That's something the president can't change anyway. He can't do nothing to make people treat people any kind of way. He don't have that jurisdictional authority. Right. The whole political stage show is a distraction. Mm -hmm. The, the only reason it's there is so that we don't know that we're being dictated to. Mm -hmm. right? They attribute the writing of the bills to this senator or that congressman. They ain't wrote Jack. Mm -hmm. They didn't write nothing. Somebody gave it to them and said, this is your agenda. That's part of the process of being over there. Mm -hmm. If you realize that it's a political satire, and stop participating in it. But as far as them trying to disrupt the energy, they don't schedule it because Brother Rich scheduled the show. They schedule it based off time, day, and stellar alignment. Mm. Because that's how they determine how to interrupt the energy. By time, day, and stellar alignment. Mm -hmm. And if they can control when the energy is disrupted, they can control the outcome of putting the energy back in water. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. Fire, fire. Uh, somebody is a little upset in the chat, and they keep writing, name one female. I, well, I don't know if they're upset, but they keep writing, name one female in the Galactic Council. They, <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, y'all. What's going on? Are any females in the Galactic Council? Because the Lyrans have a council of, of female advisors to the Galactic Council, and a representative that sits on the Galactic Council that's female. The Arcturians have two people sitting on the council one male, one female. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go through the whole Galactic Council, but there's plenty of women on the Galactic Council. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. According to the Dogon, the center of the galaxy is female. Yeah, yeah, Big Mama controlling everything anyway. So, and we call her power, and that's why she's on the thirteenth zodiac seat, dead center in the temple of Dendera. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's let's get to another question. Uh, hopefully, this one, this person isn't as mad. Uh, <laughs> Are the entities that are pulling up to assist humanity new breeds of humans? I would call them ancient breeds. Say that again. Well, well, Say that again. I said I would call them ancient breeds. Okay, okay. Them bloodlines are not what we have become on Earth now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, they were separated, genetically separated for a long period of time. And what happens is develop from a lion and a tiger from the same source. Right. Fundamentally different cats, but they compatible with each other sexually. Okay. Okay. Well, some of the entities, um, the new <laughs> breeds, uh, I think I touched on it uh, before when I said that a lot of the zeta reticular grays, a lot of them, they don't have uh, reproductive organs, so they got to house the bodies of NPCs or people who are operating from a low vibrational state in order to carry out an agenda with the Majestic 12. Mm. So, I was, so that kind of like correlates to everything as far as like breeding a different uh, different entity for the next timeline. 